Yo guys, it's Footmaster here, back with another video and today I'm going to be doing my Team of the Week 27 predictions which will be released Wednesday at 6pm. Sorry if this video is a little delayed, I've had a lot to do recently but if you are new and you do go on to enjoy, make sure to smash the like, subscribe if you're new, follow all the socials down below, I post when I'm going to be streaming and posting videos etc. But yeah, let's get into this. Alright, so quickly before we do get into this, I just want to explain a few things. With these international based informs, EA made this clear ages ago that they won't get dynamic images unfortunately. I'm not sure if that's changed but normally international based informs do not get player images so it's just going to be their face which is why I've done it as well. And also guys I'm not going to waffle too much about their other cards like I normally do. Maybe some of you light up but sometimes I think the videos get too long so I'm just going to keep it simple and why they're going to get in. Let's get into it. Starting off the team of the week 27 predictions I've picked Yil Maz. Now the reason why I think he'll definitely get in is because he got a hat trick against Netherlands in Turkey's 4-2 win. He played incredible this game and he got a 9.5 man of the match rating. So I will not be surprised if he makes it in. He should defo get in for such a good performance against a really good team that were favourites as well. But you defo don't want to see him in your reds. Next I've picked the main man of Bamiang in the thumbnail. Going to be the best player in the team of the week in my opinion. Or one of the best. Now the reason why I've picked him is because he got a goal in Gabon's 3-0 win. I'm not sure about match ratings though unfortunately. They're not available but I'm assuming he got man of the match. Match. but the thing is with this i've just put him in because he's a very good card like if he comes out i really hope he gets in but i'm really not sure about this because one goal isn't normally enough especially for a high player like him so i'm really not certain about this but i hope he gets in because the card would be very good next to the team of the week i've picked serge aurier now the reason why i think he's got a very good chance of getting in is because he got a clean sheet and a goal in ivory coast 3-0 win in the african cup of nations that is a very good thing for a defender player ratings were not available for this but yeah he would have a very high rating i wouldn't be surprised if he got man of the match so yeah i can see this card 100 percent getting in next to my team of the week predictions i've picked larin now the reason why i've picked him is because he got a hat trick in canada's 5-1 win I have left out Alfonso Davies, unfortunately, for those who wanted a left mid card of his. He did have a good game, but no way near Lawrence. And I don't think two players from the same nation, unless it's based on different games, can get in. And that was in the same game, so I've left Alfonso Davies out for that reason, because Lawrence stole the show of his hat trick, and he should definitely get in the team of the week. Next to my team of the week predictions, I've picked Dusan Tadic. Now, the reason why I've picked him is because he got all three assists in Serbia's 3 0 win. He did get a man of the match, 8.9 match rating as well, which is very solid. Unfortunately, he did play right wing, which makes him very unusable with such low pace. He would be unusable anyway, to be honest. He's just fodder, but he's very good to get from reds because of fodder reasons. And yeah, he definitely deserves to be in the team of the week. Next to my team of the week predictions, I've picked Socek. Now, the reason why I've picked him is because he got a hat trick in the centre mid position for Czech Republic against Estonia in the 6 2 win. A very outstanding performance with a man of the match 10 rating. Perfect performance. So. He has to get in this team of the week. If he's left out, he's 100% being robbed. And yeah, the card looks actually really nice. Like He looks very usable as well. So he would be used in people's teams if they have icons and stuff. But yeah, he should definitely get in the team of the week. Next to my predictions, I've picked Calvert-Lewin. Now, the reason why I've picked him is because he got two goals in England's 5-0 win against San Marino. I'm not 100% confident with this one because he didn't get man of the match, but he did grab two goals, so he got the most goals on the score sheet. And yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets one. It's one of those you don't really want in your reds, but yeah, he, he has a chance of getting in. Next to my team of the week predictions, I've picked Sorloff. Now, the reason why I've picked him is because he got a goal in Norway's 3-0 win against Gibraltar. I know that doesn't sound much, but then you look at his match rating and he hit the woodwork, but he also got a 9.9 .9 match rating which is incredibly high for that so he must have played outstanding in this game he did get man of the match as well so yeah he does have a very high chance of getting in it's one that you don't really care about of course because like look at the card no one's going to use it unless objectives in icon swaps but yeah he should get in for that match rating next to my team of the week predictions i've picked wind now the reason why i've picked him is because he got a goal and an assist in denmark's 2-0 win against israel 
he did get a man of the match 8.5 rating which is very solid i will be moving on to better cards don't worry guys i'm just getting these ones out of the way because again it's one of those you definitely don't want to get in red picks but yeah he has a high chance of getting in next moving on to a much better player and one of them in the thumbnail and it's going to be kai havertz now the reason why i've picked him is because he got a goal in germany's 3-0 win 7.3 match rating is decent and the reason why I didn't pick someone who got a man of the match or something it's because Gnabry's currently in this team of the week so he can't get one and the others were very close so Havertz would be the ideal choice for his ones to watch owners as well he'd be a plus one upgrade from that at the cam spot for that but his actual inform will be right wing unfortunately because that's where he was playing which isn't great but it'd be a massive dub from reds of course because he's one of the best in this team of the week probably if he gets in and i kind of hope he does next to my team of the week predictions i picked an interesting choice and it's going to be suyuncu the reason why i've picked him is because in turkey's last game he got a goal and a clean sheet in their 3-0 win very good for a defender he got a very high match rating as well for a defender not man of the match but he's still got a very solid rating i really hope he gets in because this card would actually be quite usable and a dub from reds of course because of fodder and usability for objectives but yeah he deserves to get one uh, but i'm not too sure moving on to another defender that would be a massive dub from reds and it's going to be delict now the reason why i've picked him is because he got a clean sheet in the netherlands latest game where they got a 2-0 win he got a very high 8.4 match rating which is very good for a defender not man of the match but certainly team of the week worthy but yeah i'm not too sure about this one it would be a very nice card as well a lot of links available and he gets decent pace on this card if he gets one so i hope he does because it will be a massive dub from reds but again i'm not 100 percent sure next moving on to another sick player that was in the thumbnail and it's going to be diego jota now i'm really not confident in, in this one and it's not all down to the performances because his ones to watch card was a free objective card back near the start of the game so ea will probably never give this guy upgrades until he plays like and gets hat tricks and we've seen this with jota like he hasn't received upgrades when he should have but yeah i've just chucked him in because he had a very solid game unfortunately it was a 2-2 draw for portugal but he did get both goals with a 7.9 match rate and not man of the match as well which is another downside but i really hope he gets one it will take his ones to watch up to 86 and his new m4 will be 86 with a five star weak foot will be very usable and yeah everyone wants to see this card next i've picked another person with a ones to watch card so these predictions don't go down in the comments saying oh they're so unrealistic it's very hard to predict national game ones because there's not many players who get an outstanding match rating so i've just gone and picked solid ones and this is again another one florenzi got an assist and a clean sheet in italy's 2-0 win with a 7.5 match rating which is above an average rating which is good but yeah i'm not 100 percent with this one like he has a ones to watch and this would take him up to 86 it'd be an insane card as well now it produced a lot of hype it'd be a massive dub from reds but again i'm not certain on this next i've picked a very high raid keeper and it's going to be oblak now i put him in last week's predictions but he could have a chance of getting in not that sure though because he's very high rated of course but yeah he did get a clean sheet in slovenia's 1-0 win against croatia with a decent match rating as well so yeah he could get in i'm not too sure though but yeah it'd be a very very good card to get in reds because of the rating of course and usability as well if you need a keeper next i've picked fernandez now the reason why i've picked him is because he got a goal in russia's 3-1 win with an over eight match rating which is very solid he didn't get a clean sheet unfortunately which would have maybe made me change my mind and probably say he's very likely but he's not very likely but it's a big possibility and i could see him getting in for that because he was the defender as well and it's very good to get a goal from the fence but yeah i'm not too sure of this one next i've finally picked a player which i'm really really certain is gonna get in and that's gonna be damn scarred now this guy got two goals and two assists in denmark's eight nil thrashing over moldova he got a man of the match 10 rating which is amazing i'm really really expecting this guy to get in team of the week for that performance it's one of those cards you don't really care about but yeah he 100 percent deserves it next in the team of the week predictions i've picked thorgan hazard now this one's very 
weird because as a left wing back he got a goal and an assist in Belgium's 3-1 win over Wales a very weird position for him to be in as he's not defensive at all which makes him a very weird card to get in your reds very good fodder of course but not really usability at that position obviously could change him in game but it's a bit weird but yeah he does deserve it for that but I'm not too sure with this either because he didn't get man of the match it would be an interesting one to be in the team of the week now next in the team of the week is another player i'm very confident is going to get in and it's going to be clark harris now this guy got a hat trick in his team's seven nil win he got a very high near max match rating man of the match of 9.7 which pretty much secures his place but yeah the card actually looks amazing now looking at the face stats he does have two star skills obviously but off the bench or for objectives if you ever need an english striker this guy looks actually cracked like look at the pace shooting and physicals for this guy so it'll be a very interesting card if he gets in now next in the team of the week predictions i've picked Jordan shakiri now this card actually looks very decent he's got five star skills and four star weak foot remember that so for objectives this card could be insane at cam like because he at cam he scored a goal in switzerland's one nil win he did get a 7.8 match rating not man of the match but a decent rating but yeah the performance was solid and because it's international maybe he'll get in the team of the week i kind of hope so because this card will be a dub from the reds like looking at it it's quite usable but yeah it'll be a decent card to be in next i've picked noon now this guy got two goals in his sides 4-1 win nothing much more to say about it it's a foul from the reds because of the rating wise and of course usability like he's just a low rated card but he does deserve it next in this team of the week i've picked Khaled jidzic let me know if i said his name wrong but he got a goal in austria's 3-1 win not man of the match but 7.5 match rating is decent and because he's low rated ea might just chuck him in they don't really care about those and no one else really does like he's not a dub from reds at all of course he's a fail but yeah he could get in next in the team of the week predictions i've picked the bravko now the reason why i picked him is because he got a clean sheet the best match rating on his team somehow and then nil nil draw versus cyprus nothing special but i think he could get in because he got the best match rating on his team but yeah i wouldn't be surprised if he's not there finally ending off this team of the week 27 predictions is going to be slomani now this guy got two goals in Algeria's 3-3 draw it's not that likely that you'll get in and player um, ratings aren't available for this competition so yeah I could see him being left out but I could see him getting in as well because EA could just chuck him in anyways all right guys that's going to be the end of the video I hope you guys enjoy if you did smash the like subscribe if you're new let me know down below guys if I have missed any players out there is a bit of a possibility because there were tons of games so I tried to get as many team of the week cards out as possible let me know who you really want to see in this team of the week follow all the socials subscribe to the second channel as well but until next time peace